Irene Gilbert, 2310 Adams Avenue. Thank you for hearing my testimony today. I am one of those awful landlords that this bill is supposed to punish. Originally, I owned six rentals, including one HUD rental that a disabled man lives in and for which I charge $350 per month. I owned a historic home in Albany. My purchase contract was for $700 per month plus taxes and insurance. This home was a bank foreclosure, so I put a bunch of money into it. I rented it for $750 per month. When I realized that the tenants were destroying the home and they quit paying rent, it took over six months to get them out. Um, all this time, I was making my payments on this home. I also had $4,000 of, of uh, attorney's cost and a judgment against these people for $30,000, which I will never collect a dime of. It took over nine months to get this house ready for me to sell it at a loss. I then sold two additional rentals because I was not willing to face the nightmare of having bad tenants again. Um, I still own two three-bedroom homes that I rent for $600 a month. Now, I put $16,000 in one of these homes last year for a new roof, fancy roof. I put uh, $13,000 in a new hydro heating system for another one. And I can tell you that these properties will never be rented again because when the current renters move out, I will be selling these homes. I'm not willing to deal with what I had to deal with in Albany. Um, I also object to having to give 90 days notice. My HUD rental is literally in my backyard. For me to have to give 90 days notice in a rental that I charge $350 a month for and pay a person to move out of my backyard, it's not going to happen. I'm tempted to go home and give this person notice as soon as I get back to La Grande. So that's the kind of thing you are facing. There's going to be fewer rentals as a result of this bill, as a result of people not 